This short talk is about the advantages of nerve transfer surgery over tendon transfer surgery for restoration of function after neurological deficit. The reconstructive toolkit for a hand and peripheral nerve surgeon involves many different techniques, but here we're going to concentrate on nerve and tendon transfer reconstruction. So nerve transfer surgery involves an intact nerve with functioning fascicles shown in green and a non-functioning nerve here with a motor branch to a non-functioning muscle shown in red. Section and expiration of a fascicle within the donor nerve identifies an expendable fascicle that can be used to transfer onto the motor branch fascicle from the nerve that's not working. And this allows direct re-innovation of the muscle very close to the muscle using live undamaged motor axons. The recovery is very fast the principles are effectively an expendable donor nerve branch or fascicle and this is because there's significant redundancy in a nerve between motor branch points. A fascicle can be taken without sacrificing completely the function of the donor. The donor should be undamaged or have recovered sufficiently uh, from injury. Uh, the, ideally the nerve should be phasic in the same way that tendon transfer should be phasic. It can be motor or sensory. The principle is to take the donor nerve as distally as possible so that it can be co-opted as close to the motor end plate on the recipient muscle as possible. But when planning the transfer, the motor branch, which is the target, is taken proximally and then any redundancy is removed from the distal stump. And this means that the anastomosis is closer to the muscle. The anastomosis should be tension-free without a graft and there should be minimal immobilization afterwards. Rapid re follows. So the principle of tendon transfer and nerve transfer are very different. Tendon transfers usually require more extensive dissection, scar can tether tendon excursion. Tendon transfers require mobilization, splintage and prolonged periods of rehabilitation. Tendon transfers uh, for finger flexion and extension may need to be staged. Tenotomy uh, can reduce the muscle force, whereas when you do a nerve transfer, you actually restore function to the muscle in its natural resting vector and mus muscle tone. The resting muscle length is very difficult to replicate after tenotomy and tendon transfer. Nerve transfers don't require much immobilization and certainly not much uh, rehabilitation in the early phase. Nerve transfers can for greater functional gains for a given transfer, so you can renovate more than one muscle and you can gain multiple independent functions uh, due to cortical plasticity, whereas a tendon transfer uh, will only regain one function. So uh, a comparison here is the FCR tendon transfer to the EDC tendon for finger extension versus a nerve transfer using an FCR palmaris and FDS fascicle that can regain independent EDC uh, finger extension. Once you take a nerve transfer, the adoption process of the re remaining uh, motor end plate axons in the donor muscle allows the motor unit to increase in size through axonal sprouting or adoption and effectively there is a net gain of functional motor axons without significant loss.